All right, today's the day to build the 3D printer enclosure. Uh, it's gonna go over here and we're gonna build up a little base over the mower and then the printer uh, enclosure goes on top. It's just gonna be like a little box. Uh, it's got a couple of things it needs to be. It needs to be soundproof, needs to be dustproof, and it needs to be, I guess, like light proof. But I really just need to get started. So I'm gonna use all the spare timber I have around to some off cuts to make the frame. Um, and then I've dropped to Bunnings uh, just before we went into lockdown, currently we're in lockdown. Uh, and I've got some stuff there. So today's, we're just gonna go on a journey. Let's, let's do it. Uh, this piece of wood is gonna be the leg. Then we'll have pieces that go from the wall across. And from the back of the wall to the front. All right, um, this is done. You're not gonna get like any movement out of that. Um, and it's level, I've screwed it into the wall, into two studs, um, and then just put this as a leg coming down. So the printer top can now go on top. I bought the sheet of whiteboard. This is gonna be the top. So I'm gonna trim that down to size. Now. Right, so for the walls, I bought this brace board. This is super cheap. I got 2.7 meters by 900 mil for 20 bucks. So it's only six mil thick, but it is just pine. So it's gonna do the trick quite well. And then also just got some more pine here. This will become the frame for the walls. There's truly something special about making something yourself, like using your hands to build things. Like these materials that I'm using, some of the stuff I just had sitting around for years, past four years since we built our home and now they've got a purpose. They've been used to create something unique. Now I do try to be a bit more spontaneous with these projects and just wing it, but ultimately ended up 3D modeling half of the thing today, just because my mind needs to visualize exactly what's going on and what the path to take is. So one of the things that doesn't make this just a box is I bought some drawer slides, some runners. Um, so these can come all the way out. And this allowed me to access the back of the 3D printer because I need to feed filament in through the back of it around this area.
Ended up 3D printing some hinges and locks. I know that's pretty meta, 3D printing for the 3D printer's enclosure. I designed the hinges myself, just used a nail as the pin for the hinge, and they get the job done, and this like little bolt lock thing's gonna hold the door on. Final things to do on the project is add some insulation to the door. The next steps is to add LED lighting to the enclosure. I know what you're thinking, it's closed off, you can't see it. Uh, I'm gonna also add a camera, a little Raspberry Pi camera, and that's gonna film time lapses of the prints. That way when you watch my YouTube videos incorporating 3D printing, you have a nice little visual to watch of it being printed. I'm super stoked with how it turned out. The drawer works excellently well. I can pull the printer all the way out, access the back, feed new filament. The power cable runs through a hole in the back there and that's got a little standard insulation sealing up that gap. I reckon it looks pretty fantastic and the fact that I can just close it up, seal it away is awesome. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.